<laughs> I did this twist recently and would like to do it again. This is a piece of 14 millimeter mild steel. And this other piece here is 10 millimeter SK4 or W1. I'd like to eventually make a utility knife with this piece. Because these are rounds, I'm using flat dies to fuller the ends to make them easy to twist. By the way, I'm currently having a half dozen of these tube style guillotine tools made, and so if anyone's interested, just shoot me an email. So for the twist I'm doing today, you don't have to completely square up the piece. I need to give a really big shout out to Billy Kreger and Jonathan Lorenzi for their recent very generous donations. Thanks fellas for your business and additional generosity. Here I could have chosen to hot or cold chisel, but I decide to use a cutoff disc on my angle grinder. You can play around with the length and the depth of these cuts. I decide to give this one one extra twist, but that takes away the fine line that's in the center. That might be desirable for some projects though. I twist a little less on this one. You can see the fine line in the center of this smaller one. So I'll give this one the old brass brush treatment. You can see the piece is still warm. If you go overboard and lighten it up too much with the brass, you can always just heat it up a little bit and that'll help to darken the brass back a little bit. Since I'm eventually going to make a utility knife with this piece, so I want to have a hole in it so I can hang it up.
the hand strikes again. Where's Ron Thacker, the blacksmith poet laureate, when I need him to help me with my rhymes? So there are a couple of simple rope twists. I think both of them are pleasing. There are any number of good projects that could use twists like these. Or as we say in New York, twists like these. So do get it twisted and give it a go. Thanks for checking in with GS Tongs. Got a lot more fooling around to do.